A second and final deboosting mission of Chandrayaan has taken place and successfully reduced the uh, LM orbit to 25 kilometers into 134 kilometers. The module would have to go uh, uh, undergo internal checks now and await sunrise at the designated landing site. Let's uh, listen in to reactions on this story coming in. Do we have the Tathagat Roy uh, soundbite? Okay, I think we've lost that. Uh, uh, we've we've uh, had some error there in that uh, soundbite. We will play it out for you in just a bit. Uh, but uh, Brian also joins us uh, for more details on this story. Brian, what's the latest update you can share with us regarding uh, the uh, Chandrayaan uh, update, the Chandrayaan mission's progress? Uh, definitely in the latest update on Chandrayaan 3 mission, a critical milestone, you know, has been achieved with the successful execution of the second and the final deboosting operation. Um, the operation effectively lowered the lunar module's LM orbit to an altitude of uh, 25 kilometers by 134 kilometer. And this accompli accomplishment definitely, you know, demonstrates this precise maneuvering capabilities of the spacecraft, bringing it closer to its intended landing tra trajectory. Uh, with this crucial uh, adjustment complete also the lunar module is now entering a crucial phase of preparations internally a comprehensive series of checks and evaluations will also be you know undertaken to ensure that all systems are fun uh, functioning optimally and are ready for the upcoming phases of the mission additionally the module will also be positioned at a designated uh, landing site awaiting the rise of the sun to, you know, provide the necessary um, illumination for a safe and controlled descent. Um, uh, the eagerly anticipated powered uh, descent phase is scheduled to initiate on August 23rd, as said, uh, as also called the grand finale at approximately 17.45 hours, uh, 45 hours um, as per Indian Standard Time. And this phase is at most importance as it, as it you know, marks the spacecraft's uh, transition from its current or or orbital path to a controlled descent towards the lunar surface um, as, as this milestone, you know, also draws near excitement, um, nervousness, all builds within the space community and not just space community, but the entire Indian and entire global community and beyond as well. Yes. As Chandrayaan 3 continues to, you know, make steady progress towards its goal of, you know, achieving a successful landing on the lo uh, lunar terrain. Uh, this definitely will be a treat for everyone to, you know, witness something that we have never seen before. Yes. Brian, what happens next now? Next is the grand finale. Next is uh, what we all Indians have been anticipating for a month. Uh, August 23rd, the final day um, uh, at, at 7.45, uh, the, uh, the phase is at most importance for the spacecraft's transition uh, from its current orbital path uh, to a controlled descent towards the lunar surface, where it will, uh, you know, land towards the, the, the south pole of, of, of the moon and, and will get stunning images, will study, and is definitely something that we all Indians are looking forward to. And additionally, also, this module will be positioned at a designated landing site that will await the rise of the sun, you know, to provide the necessary illumination for a safe and controlled descent. Yes. Now, as far as deboosting is concerned, this is the second deboosting maneuver, which has uh, been completed successfully, isn't it, Brian? The, the first one also happened uh, about, uh, you know, 24 to 48 hours ago. Uh, what really is deboosting? Just help uh, explain to our viewers. And why is it so crucial? Yeah, so basically the first deboosting happened, what, 24, 48 hours back, and the final and the second deboosting happened um, uh, uh, today. So this is a very critical uh, uh, achievement for the spacecraft, where deboosting is basically, this is an operation that uh, uh, lowered the lunar modules, that is the LM orbit, to an altitude of, what, 25 kilometers by 134 kilometers. And there is Perulin, that is um, the, the that is 100 kilometers, and there is Apulin, which is 30 kilometers. And this accomplished you know, demonstrates the precise maneuvering uh, capabilities of this aircraft that brings closer to its uh, land intended landing uh, tra trajectory. And it also, you know, enters a crucial phase of preparations, which nears the lunar landing, which, uh, which says that is an ach achievement that comes closer to the landing. Yes. Let me also bring in uh, VN Jha at this point, a former joint director DRDO is joining us uh, uh, as well. Uh, VN Jha, uh, clearly, uh, a uh, good progress uh, continuing for the Chandrayaan mission. Uh, the second deboosting maneuver also concluding successfully. 
yes, so that it is a compliment to uh, the ISRO. Uh, day before yesterday, when the de-boosting had happened, most of us, we felt that the entire process of de-boosting will be in one stage. But for some reason, that is what the rocket science is all about, that we don't know the uh, uh, unpredictabilities of the, of the missions, especially for the craft, which is not at Earth, it is somewhere else deep into the space onto another uh, Mars or another planet. So the deep boost was split into two for uh, the reasons that ISRO would know it the best. They have not communicated it to the uh, public. <clears throat> First deep boosting had post taken place in which it was brought down from the uh, 153 into 163 kilometer orbit into 113 kilometers. Uh, and uh, then thereafter, last night, uh, early morning today, they have brought it further lower. It is now at 20 kilometers, 25 kilometers of the perilune. Perilune, we call it the closest point. And uh, uh, about, uh, uh, I, I suppose it is about 150 odd kilometers of the Apollyon. I mean, 130 kilo, 134 kilometers to be precise. That is the Apollyon, that is the furthest uh, place in the orbit. So uh, this is now supposed to be the final uh, before the landing phase. Uh, although pre-designated uh, orbit for the for the uh, you know fail, payload module of Chandrayaan three was supposed to be thirty into hundred kilometers, but for some reason this small deviation is there, which uh, is of not much of significance. I don't think it is significant enough because it was supposed to be at thirty kilometers. It is at twenty five kilometers. Uh, moon doesn't have the atmosphere, so we don't expect any decay in the velocity that usually happens lower into the uh, the, the altitude. So, uh, from that point of view, uh, there is hardly any change. In fact, there will be uh, added advantage because hereafter, now every pass that Chandrayaan three lander makes over the South Pole it will be taking a higher resolution camera from very close quarter of 25 kilometers to onto the landing spot to know exactly what it is there. So, uh, please do remember this spot <coughs> has been given to us, to the ISRO by Orbiter 2, which is orbiting at 100 kilometers. So the <coughs> high resolution camera picture taken from 100 kilometers uh, by uh, the, the Orbiter 2 and compared to the Chandrayaan 3, which is now making a pass at 25 kilometers, will be significantly uh, better. And uh, of course, every time that it makes a pass, uh, it will be sending that high resolution uh, picture to the ISRO. And then it will facilitate uh, ISRO that out of the entire vast area of 4 kilometer into 2.4 kilometers, which is designated at the South Pole for the landing, uh, what is the place where exactly they would like to land, which is at least from 25 kilometers, appearing to be absolutely plain. So it will facilitate ISRO over the next couple of days. And uh, we wish ISRO team a very best of luck for a soft landing. Hereafter, the uh, phase six completes. Phase six was the de-boosting, which was split into two. Now hereafter, phase seven will start, that is the pre-landing. Uh, now, this is the final altitude of 25 kilometers, from where the slope trajectory for the landing will have to be worked out. And ISRO team has already made that particular thing, uh, where it was earlier supposed to be from 30 kilometers. Now, that slope will start from 25 kilometers. So, that is the only difference, that is the only change, which the team must be working now. And uh, they will, they, they, already they must have worked it out, and they must be simulating how to go all about it. And then finally, when that landing uh, exercise starts on 23rd, uh, it will be automated by the craft. And that automation uh, phase uh, must be right now being worked out, simulated, and seen with all that uh, uh, analysis that they do it. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.